Hola, my name is Kevin Perjurer, and welcome to another installment in Defunct Land. For background slash context on this series, please visit thepurge.com with the link below. Today we will not be examining the history of an attraction, but instead the icons of Disney's Hollywood Studios. There have been two main icons throughout the park's history, both of which have been removed, so let's talk about them. Disney's Hollywood Studios, then called Disney MGM Studios, opened on May 1st, 1989. The park's theme is a reference to the golden age of Hollywood and was conceived by Michael Eisner and friends. If you remember the Defunct Land video on Jaws the Ride, then you know that the park heavily drew inspiration from Universal Studios Hollywood. In doing so, Disney constructed operating studio lots at the Florida park. They also decided to add a symbol of Disney's original Burbank Studios, the Water Tower. The original Disney Studios water tower was standard for backlots in the early 1900s, as fires were quite common on the wooden movie sets. Disney MGM Studios water tower had a large pair of Mickey ears on top of it, and so it was named the Earful Tower. Get it? Like the Eiffel Tower. Despite being a water tower, the tower never actually held any water. This shared the marketing space of Disney MGM Studios with The Great Movie Ride, a dark ride and full-scale recreation of Hollywood Boulevard's Chinese Theater. This was originally the centerpiece of Disney MGM Studios, with the Earful Tower being the park's official icon. All of that changed in 2001 with the addition of the Sorcerer's Hat in the center of the park. The Sorcerer's Hat is a large-scale version of Mickey's Sorcerer's Hat, originally featured in Disney's Fantasia. The Sorcerer's Hat was added to celebrate Disney's 100 Years of Magic, which honored the 100th birthday of Walt Disney. During this time, kiosks were placed under the hat informing guests on Walt's life, but these were removed in 2003. After that, the Sorcerer's Hat functioned as a stage for short-form shows and events, and a gift shop. Got this right here. She has got the, the Sorcerer's Hat was a huge hit with children who didn't know any better. For everyone else, not so much. The Sorcerer's Hat blocked the view of the Chinese theater and obstructed the aesthetics of Hollywood Boulevard. It developed what I will refer to as a cult unfollowing, in that a very select group of people had strong negative feelings about its addition. It does make sense that it would become the park's icon, as it is located in the center of the park, as is Cinderella's castle, Spaceship Earth, and the Tree of Life. However, those displeased with it were happy in 2014 when Disney announced its removal, which began in 2015. Coincidentally, in 2016, the Earful Tower would also be removed, leaving Disney's Hollywood Studios without an icon, although the Chinese Theater and the Tower of Terror are used interchangeably for now. So why were they removed? Well, the Earful Tower was removed to make way for Hollywood Studios' brand new Toy Story Land, which from what I have researched is just a bunch of Toy Story themed attractions currently at Hong Kong Disneyland, rebuilt for Hollywood Studios. It does live on, however, as there is still the original Burbank Water Tower and an Earful Tower in Disneyland Paris. As for the Sorcerer's Hat, its closure is pretty obvious. It just didn't fit with the park. Had it not become the icon of Hollywood Studios, I imagine that it would have been removed much sooner due to the fact that it was placed there for the special celebration. That said, the removal did take nearly 50 days. I assume that thing is made of very heavy metal. Perhaps the Sorcerer's Hat would have found a larger fan base had its original design been implemented. The initial plan for the Sorcerer's Hat was to be built outside the park, twice as big, with two Ferris wheels as ears and an art gallery under it. Who knows, maybe that crazy idea could have saved it from demolition. So that is the history of the Sorcerer's Hat and Earful Tower. For info on the possible remains of the Earful Tower and which icon will be placed into Defunct Land Park, please visit thepurge.com with the link below. If you haven't been following the links or reading The Purge, you might have missed out on the announcement of the first section of Defunct Land, entitled Encounterland. This is set aside for attractions that feature a specific thing or things that the audience gets to see up close, such as Alien Encounter and Jaws the Ride. Also, keep checking The Purge as I continually update the remains of attractions as I research them. I just found this for sale online from Alien Encounter. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe.